Hey guys, welcome back. So it has been a long time since I've been doing severe weather forecasts like this. But anyways, um, excuse me. Um, Missouri, um, 2020 winter um, newsletter is right there. For your headlines, Missouri Winter Weather Awareness Week will be continuing on November 16th to um, November 20th, 2020. So that will be um, most likely for winter weather drills or so. So as we check your weather story, strong to severe storms will be possible on Saturday. So here's your severe sat Saturday severe weather outlook for Saturday. So the slight risk that is concluded is right near Monad or so, right near Joplin or New Yosho. So the slight risk which is concluded in the slight risk is Rolla, Centerfield, West Plains, Branson, Springfield, Fayetteville, and Fort Smith. And Grove, Oklahoma is right there as well, right near Interstate 44. And the states which are concluded in or included in the marginal risk is Columbia, Tulsa, McLester, um, Little Rock, Batesville, and right right near St. Louis, they might be a marginal risk as well or so. So as we check, um, I'm pretty sure I said Columbia. Yeah, I probably did. But anyways, as we check your severe weather timing and location, the timing and, and the location will be Saturday afternoon into e evening, mainly between 4 p.m. and 10 p.m. by Saturday afternoon into evening. Um, so that concludes southwest Missouri or so. And for the potential hazards that will be likely or possible, damaging wind gusts will be the primary hazard a lower end potential for a brief weak tornado or two, and hail to the size of quarters will also be possible. For actions, be weather aware and ready to act and have a, re have a way to receive warnings from the National Weather Service for watches, advisories, and warnings from the National Weather Service in Springfield, Missouri. So yeah, once again, be safe, and also, a brief weak tornado will be possible or two, and... A brief weak tornado cannot be ruled out, probably. So, if there was actual tornado warning, take cover immediately and get all your stuff ready for the emergency kit. As we checked another weather story, wind can, windy conditions will return again on Saturday. Here's your tomorrow's maximum maximus, uh, wind gusts for Springfield will be 35 to 30 to 35 miles per hour. And for Monette, um, what we said about the slight risk, um, there will be. Um, in the wind gusts of 30 to 35 to 40 miles per hour. And then for West Plains, 30 to 35 miles per hour. And for Greensville, no, Gainesville, 25 to 30 miles per hour. So for Salem and also that concludes right near Springfield too. For wind, for the hazardous wind conditions, um, south winds of 30 to 40 miles per hour will be possible Saturday, shifting to the northwest behind the cold front. For the impacts, travel may be more difficult, especially for high-profile vehicles, and power outages may result. So make make sure to get all your stuff inside because make and also make sure to leave room for high-profile vehicles and make sure to prepare for strong winds because power outages may result. And for actions, bring in loose outdoor objects, secure tents, and other wind-prone structures. So yeah. But yeah, sorry for the background noise, but for actions, bring in loose outdoor objects, secure tents, and other wind-prone structures. And then, elevated fire weather conditions on Saturday that will return for the impacts. Fires can spread rapidly in dry grasses and brush. Outdoor, outdoor burning is discouraged, except by experienced, well-trained fire and land management personnel. Low afternoon humidity and gusty winds will be possible. So make sure not to burn trash or yard waste and do not throw out cigarettes. So anyways, be prepared for a brief weak tornado or two because a brief weak tornado cannot be rolled out probably. And we don't know how to encourage that. So yeah, make sure they get also get the latest news on the KY Free or follow them on Twitter. And anyways, peace out and I'll talk to you guys later. And I'll be making sure I'll capture all the alerts. Anyways, stay safe. And have a good time. And if you have an AMFM station or a local television outlet where it sets off emergency alerts or no weather radio, make sure to have that to stay safe for, um, uh, to stay tuned to no weather radio or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. And, and as always, stay prepared for Saturday.